Hello, gentles and ladymen. I am Ulan Gaming, and today I bring you a snazzy new video comparing the three premier shock infantry units, the Coyote Runner from the Aztecs, the Chimu Runner from the Inca, and the Shuttle Warrior from the Ethiopians. We will be mathematically uh, comparing all of these units uh, with as many buffs as we can possibly fit to the best of our abilities without having to rely on any outside help, team cards, or native decks. Now, these three units are the Coyote Runner, which is going to be the most expensive of the base three, costing 80 food and 35 wood, having 155 HP going with 18 base attack. Uh, and this will be up against the Shimu Runner, which costs only 10 food less, but swapping wood for coin at 70 food and 35 coin. The Chimu sports 140 HP with 20 base attack, so 15 less HP, 2 extra attack. Uh, he also comes with the added bonus of having a on-demand ability to raise movement speed by one flat movement speed, as well as making him impossible to snare temporarily. This is a very powerful ability, and overall the Chimu Runner just has a leg up on the Coyote Runner because of this fact, and this fact alone. Both of these units also have 6.25 movement speed at base and 10% range resistance. The Shuttle Warrior is the most balanced at, of, in terms of cost of all of these units, sporting 55 food and 50 coin cost. Not quite as cheap villager seconds wise as the Chimu, but probably a little bit more convenient to afford. Uh, the Shuttle Warrior has 13 base attack, but at a attack speed of 1.2, which makes it unfortunately very annoying to calculate and equivalates to the 1.5 attack speed of the other units. But we will do our best. The Shuttle Warrior is the tankiest at 170 HP. It is also the slowest, however, at 6 movement speed, and it also sports the same 10% range resistance. And unfortunately, unlike the unlike every other uh, shock infantry that we will talk about in this video. The shuttle warrior has no ways that I know of in order to increase their movement speed, so not only is their base speed the slowest, but they're also just kind of stuck there. Now, the attack speed of 1.2 can uh, go up to 6 after 5 attacks, uh, which is also a multiple of 1.5, which means all we have to do in order to calculate the Shuttle Warrior's equivalence of from 1.2 to 1.5 is multiply the hand attack by 5 and then divide it by 4. Doing this results in a total attack of 16.25 at base level, which is significant, but it which is significantly better than 13. Uh, but it does not. It is still the lowest base attack of all of these units. It is worth mentioning, however, that this that the Shuttle Warrior is the only one of these shock infantry today with the multiplier on the base attack against infantry of 1.25 which actually brings its base HP up to 20 attack, which is fantastic, as this allows it to outdamage the Chimu and have more HP, but only in the event that it is fighting infantry. Now that is all infantry and not just light infantry. This is, an, uh, this is a generic infantry multiplier as though as it is a Spanish Lancer. Now, when looking at age two available upgrades, uh, the Coyote Runner has by far the most upgrades available to it. It has the Silent Strike card, which allows it to have stealth. Uh, the Chimu Combat card, which gives it 20% HP and 10% movement speed, which boosts its movement speed up to 6.88, which is faster than that of a Hussar. And it also has a card that uh, boot, that gives it a multiplier against settlers, along with all of your other Warhut units. However, of all of the cards that, Chimu run that that Coyote Runners have, this one is not really relevant and will hardly ever be used, so we didn't include footage of it in this video, as there are just way too many other higher priority Aztec cards in H2 for us to for, to, to, for me to even consider putting it in this in this video. 
As for age two cards that affects the Chimu Runner, there are actually none. There is a card that Inca has called Team Inca Bridges that boosts all infantry and settlers by 5% movement speed for the entire team. However, the Chimu Runners, and in fact all Shock Infantry, actually lack the generic infantry tag. So this buff does not actually affect them. Uh, as such, the Chimu Runners are completely unaffected by anything in Age 2 except for the Big Button tech available at the War Hut that boosts their range resistance from 10% to 15%, where it will stay for the rest of the game, as that is the highest that Inca can take it on their own. Ethiopia have exactly one card that impacts the Shuttle Warriors uh, in age one, in ages one and two, and that is the card that gives their Raws the Roar of the Lion ability, which temporarily boosts the movement and attack speed of units around them by 10%. However, this ability lasts all of 10 seconds and has uh, an entire and has like an entire 10 minute cooldown, which makes it pretty unfeasible in any generic game. Uh, not to mention, it's just not going to be a high priority card that most Ethiopia players are going to want to take. So as such, we will not be talking about it other than the fact that it exists. Uh, however, what Ethiopia lacks in cards, they make up for in techs. Specifically, the two techs that you can get from Age Up. Using the Portuguese Age Up, you can get an arsenal that where you can grab Breastplate Infantry to boost Shock Infantry HP by 10%, or you can go with the Sudanese and research the tech at the Mountain Monastery that boosts Shock Infantry Melee Armor by 10%, giving them 10% range and 10% melee armor, which is not the the greatest amount of armor in either case, but is still better than nothing. Now, this, these are, of course, absolutely min-maxed, and most people would not probably be thinking that they need to absolutely min-max from age 2 and age up with Portugal and Sudanese for the express purpose of taking the Shuttle Warrior. However, it is worth noting that it exists, and for the purposes of this video where I want to test out extremes, I ended up aging with Portuguese to age 2 and Sudanese to age 3 for this exact purpose. Shuttle Warriors have 160 base HP, which is the tankiest of the three base units. As a side note, their idle animation has the shuttle actually uh, dig into their chest. I'm not sure why that is a thing, but it totally is. Uh, and this doesn't get fixed no matter what age you're in. Um, but going to the arsenal over here, uh, we can see that once we research this tech, we get 16 extra HP for 176 with 13 attack, which is, as we know, the equivalent of 16.25. I'm just going to round it to 16 for, for, for clarity's sake. And as such, when we have fully teched and carded to all of our heart's content into age 2, we see the Coyote Runner has 186, the highest HP counts after cards and techs of the three of them, with 18 attack, uh, we, uh, which is the middle of the pack attack-wise. The Chimu Runner uh, still has largely similar stats, but he has more range resistance, as well as more attack than anybody else at 20 attack at 1.5 speed with 140 HP. The Coyote Runner is also, should be noted, being the fastest at 6.88 speed, and the Shuttle Warrior is stuck at 6 speed, uh, sporting 176 HP with 16 attack at 3 speed. The Chimu Runner, of course, is the fastest overall if they are using their big button uh, ability that ha that is on a recharge timer. They also cannot be snared, uh, which means at this point in the at this point in the math, uh, the Chimu Runner and the Coyote Runner are pretty neck and neck. Uh, in a stand up, in a straight up fight, the Coyote Runners would probably beat everybody else here, simply due to having higher HP than anybody else by a sizable margin. Now, once we get to age three cards. Aztec do have ex uh, one card that affects the Chimu Runner. It provides a 20% damage boost and 10% armor, uh, all, which means all in total the two combat, orient uh, combat stat oriented Chimu Runner cards provide a total of 20% damage, 20% HP, 10% ranged resistance, 
and 10% movement speed for a total of 20% range res, 6.88 movement speed, 26 attack, and 225 HP in the elite status. This is a very good and decked out set. Now in Age 3, the Shimu Runner makes significant comeback work in terms of the stat department, as the Aztec, as the Inca, have a infantry have a hand infantry combat card that affects Shimu runners by 15%, as well as a 20% HP support card, uh, providing a total of 15% attack and 35% HP, boosting them all the way to 224 attack, 6.88 movement speed after they do Inca roadwork, 15% uh, range resistance, and 28 attack which is extremely comparable to the 26 and 225 HP. Uh, the Chima Runners are have uh, the Chima Runners have one less HP, two more attack and 5% less range resistance, which means at this point Chima Runners would beat the Coyote Runners in combat. Meanwhile, the Shuttle Warrior gets access to the Sudanese tech or the Portuguese tech if you took the Sudanese first in our case. <laughs> Uh, as well as the Shuttle Warrior Combat card, which boosts them by 15%. So they also get upgraded to Elite Status, and as and at their end result, they end up with 240 HP, 6 speed, 10% range, and melee resistance, and a total of 18 attack, which at 1.2 speed. Which, when we calculate this with our with with our solution we can calculate to be 22.5 damage, which is still the least of the three. However, they still are very clearly ahead in the HP department uh, for very obvious reasons. At this point in Age 3, it is pretty much a toss-up who would actually win in a fight. However, it might actually go to the Shuttle Warrior just for having that 10% of melee resistance. Uh, of course, this is at the and, and having a higher HP pool. However, this is all under the assumption that the Shuttle Warriors could catch the other two, as they are almost an entire full speed faster than the Shuttle Warrior at this point. In the Industrial Age, Aztec do not have any cards or techs in particular that affect Coyote Runners other than their standard champion upgrade, which brings them to 264 HP with 30 attack. Now, I do want to bring up at this point that uh, at any point, Aztec and uh, Inca can use the attack dance to boost their unit's attack in combat. Uh, however, this is more important for the Aztecs specifically than anybody else because they have the Warrior Priests and are more likely to have this very, very soon in the game, uh, boosting the 26 attack to well above pretty much anybody else, uh, as well as the fact that when you add 15 Settlers, you end up with a 35 Settler equivalent plaza and when this ha and when you if you choose to apply this in age four like i did for our mathematics sake you end up with a grand spanking total of 42 attack now if you just take the 10 warrior priests and you remove the 15 settlers you still end up with a very respectable 37 attack now if we take a look at the chimu runner in the fourth age, they do have, uh, besides their standard champion upgrade, they finally get the Cloud Warriors card, enabling them to finally take stealth, which is an ability that Coyote Runners have starting in age two, if you send a card. It is worth noting, as I forgot to mention earlier, that Chima Runners do have a 1.5 times multiplier against artillery, making them the premier choice for anti-artillery when taking into account their uh, extra movement speed. Uh, it is also worth mentioning, as I had forgotten it, that Aztec have access to the Aztec mining card starting in age 3, which boosts mining by 40% as well as 20% yield, and swaps all wood costing units to coin costing units, making their cost 80 food and, 20, and 35 coin, which is a much, much, much better deal uh, than 80 food and 35 wood, especially because you just got 40% extra mining speed. It really cannot be understated how much this really improves the Aztec units. With our Chima Runners finally capable of hitting stealth, just like the uh, Coyote Runner and unlike the Shuttle Warrior, uh, we have a total of 259 HP and 33 attack. Now this is of course compared to the... Uh, now this is of course compared to the 30 attack and... 
264 HP of the Coyote Runner, uh, which means that between the two of them here, the Coyote, the Chimus would probably just barely eke out a victory, uh, simply because of the extra damage that they possess. However, when you factor in the uh, plaza and you put 25 settlers on the plaza and check the attack, the Chimu Runner only goes up to 42, which is exactly the same as the Coyote w w as the Coyote Runner, making Chimu Runners and Coyote Runners borderline identical in stats, with the Coyote Runner having a tiny bit more attack and 5% more range resistance, while the Chimu Runner sports extra movement speed thanks to its big button tech. Now, in age 4 for the Shuttle Warrior, Ethiopia gains access to a card that boosts unit hit points by 5% and enables all of your units to slowly heal even while in combat. Uh, now, this heal is worth 1 HP per second, which means as long as your Shuttle is in combat, they are effectively reducing the damage they take by 1 damage per second. This is a significant boost, the f a lot more so than the 5 HP. However, most attacks are pretty decisive and would end up, and would probably end very quickly. The Shuttle Warrior ends in the in the fourth age with 288 HP, the highest HP of all of our units, with 10% melee and range resistance, making them the likely winners just for, uh, without any dancing involved, just for simple uh, damage, uh, just for simple damage resistance alone, and 21 attack at 1.2 speed, which when we calculate using our uh, our calculation results in 26.25 attack, which is where the Shuttle Warrior really, really falls off, as it has notably less damage than pretty much all of the other units at this point, as well as the fact that it doesn't have a dance to help make up for this fact. Shuttle Warriors shine the hardest ab in their base stats specifically, and in age three, in early age three, after sending the Shuttle Warrior combat card. However, they clearly fall off at, after you get to the Industrial Age and everybody else has carded up and gotten a full economy in swing and can afford settlers onto the plaza. So, that raises the question then, who is the best shock infantry? And I'm pr I think it's pretty clear that if we are looking at end games, early game stats, then it could really go to all three of them as they all perform their purpose well. But the Shuttle Warrior has the edge in HP and uh, and attack without combat cards. But as we go later, uh, it's definitely just a neck and neck race between the Chimu and the Coyote Runner, which means the overall best one that I shall declare to be the best Ch shock infantry unit in the game is, of course. The, Sp the Spanish Shaolin Rattan Shield. Of course. I mean, who would expect anything else? These things are absolute monsters. Now let's take a detour and go over to Spain really quickly, because you all need to see this. Spain has this magical little thing where all of its archaic unit combat cards uh, affect not specific unit names, but unit tags, and one of those tags is Hand Infantry, which Shock Infantry do in fact fall under. Uh, they have the Shock Infantry and the Hand Infantry tags, but no actual infantry tags. Now, if we make the Rattan Shields, uh, the Rattan Shield has 100 and 85 HP, making it the tankiest base uh, uh, shock infantry in the game, and 16 base attack. However, this 16 base attack is somewhat deceptive, as the Rat as the Shaolin Temple itself, which you need in order to train Rattan Shields, comes with an extra tech available in any age that allows you to get a 15... a 50 percent extra damage to Rattan Shields, which is stupid, as it makes their base HP 185 and their age 2 damage 24. Additionally, they start with 20% range resistance and don't need to send any cards for that. Then when we look at the rest of the things that, it, it, that Spain has available to them, the Team Hand Infantry Attack card affects the Rat and Shields, as does the Archaic Infantry Hit Points card. So we can send both of these, as well as 
the advanced arsenal card to give them it, it, as well as, as the advanced arsenal card uh, to give them both infantry breastplate for an extra 10 percent attack as well as a 1.25 multiplier against buildings and when we add up all this together we end up with 232 hp and 26 attack with 20 percent resist uh, damage with 20% damage resistance in the second age, but we're not even done there because we can send Unction and create 10 missionaries and put them next to our units, and voila, we get 33 attack with 232 HP and 20% melee range resistance in the second age, which is hilariously comparable to some of the age 4 stats of the other units. And this is just in age 2. It's a little stupid if I may say so myself. Once we get their uh, tech in age 3, these units go up to 38 attack and 278 HP, uh, and they also get, as Mana has access to the age 3 archaic infantry combat card here for another 15% damage and HP affecting the rat and shields because they are hand infantry. Uh, this boosts them to 306 HP and 41 attack. Uh, there is also the Liberation March card, which boosts their movement speed by 5%, which is not quite as fast as some of the other units. They're not quite as fast as Hussars, but they do end up way faster than Shuttles at 6.56 movement speed. And unfortunately, this is where our cards in uh, for Spain run out, but we still do have the Honor upgrade, which is 35%, which brings the total Vet and Guard upgrades to 60%, which is actually a Royal Guard upgrade, essentially, which leaves our Honored Rat and Shields at 370 HP and 49 attack. Now, during my unit comparisons, I do, I do acknowledge that this is ignoring Age 5 stats. However, I do not feel that Age 5 stats are generally relevant in supremacy matches, uh, so we are just going to leave it at that. Now the Rat and Shield is the most expensive unit here at 50 food and 60 wood apiece. However, if you are Spain and you encounter the Shaolins in your match, you really might want to consider just running them anyways because they are that fucking good. And with that, I bid you all adieu, gentles and ladymen. Uh, have a great day and goodbye. Still my heart beats again and again I'm always searching for a love with no sense within my head Till that day when I see that I've met The most amazing demon ever yet